So I'm gonna put these in this. What is this, you might ask? Well, I'm the cheating gourmet after all. So once in a while, I use a little helper. So I bought this and I'm gonna jazz up some shrimp, but I'm gonna grill the shrimp. And this has rice in it, as you can see from the package. Um, it has some spices in it. I really shouldn't stir it once it starts. Um, but it has a little packet of spice with peppers and dried celery and dried this and that. But I'm gonna add some fresh and it will cook right in there with the lid on uh, for another fast part of supper. There you go. Anytime you're gonna grill meat or even sear it in the skillet, it should be dry. So you can see how much moisture is coming off of our shrimp because it was frozen shrimp, okay? You know, and I'll, I'll keep doing that. I'm gonna let it thaw here and keep pushing uh, all the moisture out. And then I'll season it. And we're gonna just um, sear it real on high heat, very little, maybe olive oil in the pan. And what am I gonna season it with? Well, I think just like little, maybe a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper because the jambalaya type um, New Orleans mix stuff, that rice stuff, it's gonna have a lot of flavor. So I don't think it's needed. And these are the larger jumbo shrimp, which I think has mm, a lot more flavor than those little guys. Okay, we're gonna leave the tails on too. Hi guys. So I knew I was going out to lunch today. So I did a little something ahead of time. I made um, what you saw in the video, this little jazzed up box of jambalaya. Now I've made my jambalaya on the videos the older way. Now this isn't really jambalaya because it doesn't have like sausage and all that in it, but I'm gonna make some shrimp on the side. So here's what it looks like. The pan's really cold. And then I'll just literally heat it up, fluff it up, you know. Um, and we're gonna uh, make some grilled shrimp. I'm actually gonna sear the shrimp instead of turning on my little grill. So I'm gonna point the camera down and let's get it going. Okay, because I'm not that hungry. <laughs> but, but Thane will be hungry when he comes home. I know he will. So let me point my camera down here. That's kind of where I want it, right in there. And this time I'm not using a nonstick. I'm using it's not a stick, but it's a, just a well-loved stainless. Okay, and this handle gets hot, so I use this little guy, right? And remember my big rules for pan saute or searing, and that is high heat. You're gonna get that skillet hot first, okay? Let me grab a teeny bit of water to do the water test. Let me grab that. Now, when I say the water test, this is just to demonstrate. As you learn to cook, you know, for a lot of you that don't do a lot of cooking, you'll get to know when it's hot enough to add your fat, your oil, okay? But if you don't, um, do this little trick. Now I do this. <laughs> Is it getting hot? Yeah, it's getting hot. So I have my shrimp that I just seasoned with a little uh, garlic salt and pepper, just regular pepper, because that rice is very, very flavorful, all the stuff I put in it. All I'm gonna do is see if the if this water is gonna dance, seeing it's not dancing. No boogaloo, no frug, <laughs> no fratty, no twist. Come on, how many can we think of, right? It's just kind of sizzling. But if it, it jumps, um, and saute means to jump, that's exactly what it means in French. So isn't that fun? Learn something new every day. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. That's a little better, huh? Yep, and it disappeared. That's what we wanna see. Okay, so let's get our fat in. Our fat today is going to be little EVO. Oh, I just want that much. Whoa, I put actually too much in. Ah, now it's to the smoke point because olive oil likes to smoke. I'm actually gonna dump a little bit of this out. I'm gonna put it down my, in another little 
ceramic pan that I had. See, I want that much. I just want it to coat. I got a little out of control there, didn't I? Okay, so we're gonna add our shrimp. That's what I wanna hear. I'm gonna control the heat. As you know, shrimp don't take that long to cook. So let's just get some high heat on them and then we'll flip them around just once. I know I repeat myself, but we have new people here and there and not everybody, you know, is as proficient as the next person cooking. So I hope you don't mind that I remind, right? Um, yeah, I am gonna do some high heat. Shrimp are shaped kind of like that. And if they end up like this, that's O for overcooked. But if they turn into a C, C is for cooked. So it's just kind of like a loose little rule when you're learning to cook, okay? And I'm just gonna sear these, like I said, and then I'll fluff up this rice stuff. It does smell really good. And I added the onion and peppers and some fresh tomato and it cooked right in along with the rice as it you know, was in the water and cooked down. I always do that. If I'm making rice, I'll throw peas on top when it's almost finished or fresh broccoli or something and it will steam on top. So these little buggers are ready to flip. Let's do that. I want a little bit of color. Why aren't they being hot? I guess I didn't eat that enough, see? Everyday cooking with my Aunt Shirley here, see? Everybody uh, makes a little mistake. See how it's getting a little brown like that? I don't want it cooked too, too much. We'll just lay these on top. I might add a little bit more spice now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, I think I will. And what do I have here? I have a kind of funky paprika that I like. I've been using lately. But I can just use this one. Not so smoky, but let's get a little bit of that on there. We like things hot, so if that looks like a lot to you, it probably is. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I can turn these, and wow, I can smell a difference now. So let me get these going. I don't want to bore you with that, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're finished. Okie doke. There we go. Okay, here we are. I added a little bit of that smoky paprika, and I actually added a little bit more pepper and a little more garlic salt. But um, most of them are in a C shape, not an O shape, so they only take a couple minutes on each size, side, and they really smell delicious. This isn't even heated up yet, but it will be. And it's just a real simple, have a nice salad with it. Um, I do have a little bit of crusty bread left and we'll have that. And maybe I'll even have another piece of pizza like that I had for lunch. <laughs> so, okay, thanks for watching. Just yet another idea. You can jazz up a box of uh, $1.29 or whatever it was, rice. There we go.